Hey there, my dear brother, uh, my dear apostle, co-laborer in the faith, pastor, uh, all the way from Africa. I want to make sure I pronounce your name correctly. I always have a trouble problem pronouncing your name. Uh, pastor Salas Wabuti. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. You're my brother from another mother. I salute you, my brother. I salute all of the saints, all the believers, them that are, are in Christ Jesus. Uh, we Hebrews say Yahushua HaMashiach, the true Messiah. Um, all of those, all of you, all the people in your congregation, in your church, uh, in your region that have been born again and full of his spirit. I salute all of you in his name, in Yahushua's name, Jesus' name. And I'm praying for you. I'm praying for divine protection for you. I wanted to bring you this video because I have a very serious update for you. And my dear brother, I'm praying that, um, that the Most High gives you divine wisdom in this season, divine protection. Okay, Pastor Wabuti, Wabuti I, I know for sure that the Most High has called you and put you in the position that you're in and has trusted you with Yah's people, with Yahuwah's people, God's people. And it's a high honor. And I just want to pray the prayer of faith for you and your saints. And I'm going to highly advise that you sit down with them and discuss, uh, let them see this video and <clears throat> have fellowship with them and let them know we Hebrews here in America and that are scattered love all of you who are grafted into the kingdom. Some of you may be bloodline Hebrews. Okay. You may be one of the, the scattered 12 tribes of Israel all around the world. They're true Hebrews, not the, not the false ones in, in, in Jerusalem today. The real true ones, the black and brown people that are scattered. But even if you're not a, a bloodline Hebrew, you are grafted in through the blood of Yehush HaMashiach. Uh, and that's the only way we can get in. We all get in that way. But I'm going to pray the prayer of faith with you right now. I'm going to ask you to sit down and give me a few minutes of your time. I'm going to tell you what's on my heart. I'm going to tell you what we're doing, what's going on here in America, and what, what we plan on doing next, okay? So stretch your hands toward me, all of your saints, all you believers in Africa, in Kenya, and scattered around. Father Yah, we praise you. We thank you. We thank you for the Apostle uh, Pastor Wabuti, uh, Silas Wabuti. Uh, we thank you for his ministry. We thank you for putting your hand on him, protecting him, giving him divine grace, divine understanding, divine wisdom in the knowledge of you. Thank you for waking him up out of a deep sleep. Thank you for waking all of us up into the, out of the deep sleep, pardon me, from the mass deception that's on the world system today with the false Christ and, and, uh, and the religion of Christianity. Thank you for waking him up. And thank you for putting your hands on his ministry. I pray for his wife. I pray for the children. I pray for all of them that are in his circle. I pray for his country. I pray for all of them that are in Kenya and around the world, in Africa, to wake up to the end time movement that you're, that you're ushering today, today with waking up your, your true chosen people and the remnant that are grafted in with them. Father, I praise you. I pray that there's no lack. I declare that no weapon formed against him, his family, or his ministry shall prosper, according to the book of Isaiah. And if there's any sick in this congregation, I declare that with your stripes, Lord Jesus, Yahushua HaMashiach, they are healed. In the name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we declare this. We declare that there's no lack. I pray that you bless him with all abundance to do every good work, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 9, that he has every all the money he needs for every good work in Christ Jesus, in Yahushua HaMashiach. And in, in Yahushua's name, we pray this prayer. Amen and amen. Well, uh, Apostle and Pastor, um, and, and to all of the believers there, I got a couple of good, I have a great announcement for you. But what I want to do before I get into what's the, the good news I have about Africa, I want to just give you uh, some, some revelation knowledge and some understanding and a warning. Um, of what's going on in, in the world of Christianity right now. There's a global awakening to the truth of who the chosen people are, the real chosen Hebrew Israelites. And uh, us being Hebrews doesn't really save us, but there's a big movement around the world. I'm talking from North America, South America, Australia, um, all up in Europe, okay? And all through Africa, there's, there's an awakening of who the chosen people are. Now, many of you know this for a fact, that a lot of the, the other tribes, the other 11 tribes are still in Africa. Some of them in South Africa, some of them in Kenya. A lot of them are in West Africa. Uh, you know, Ghana and Nigeria, Gambia, and all those nations over there. But, uh, you know, us who were scattered, which is Judah, Yehudim, 
we were scattered all over the world and we're just now waking up the last four or five years. Some of us have been woke about 20, 15, 20 years, but the majority of us have just now waken up. And what I want to warn you of is there's a big lie going around in the body of Christ that it's not important who the chosen people are, which is a, is a total lie. We know that's a lie because Yahushua HaMashiach in Revelation chapter 3, he talked about in Revelation chapter 3 and chapter 4 about a false Israel, a false uh, chosen people who call themselves Jews and are not. And he gave us a stern warning to make sure that we wake up and identify who those people are. So if it wasn't important who the chosen people are, he, he wouldn't have put it in the, Revel the book of Revelation because there's a mass deception going on now. And there's a lot of people in Israel and around the world claiming to be us, claiming to be Yehudim, Judah, and they're not. And they don't look like us. The, all 12 tribes, including Judah, are black and brown people. Are there some lighter skinned people? Yes, there's a few. But the majority of us are black and brown. A lot of them right there in Africa, you know? And, uh, and I brought that up to say this, with that false, that big lie of who the real Jews are, as opposed to the fake ones, a lot of Christians are hiding behind, it doesn't matter who the people are. Here's the warning I'm gonna give you. If you continue to believe the lie about who the false people are, you know, you're not gonna understand Bible prophecy because the prophecy is gonna surround who the chosen people are, not the false ones. And you'll be, you, 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 can, you can basically get yourself caught up in a lie. Remember, in the last days, Paul says, the, the devil, uh, pardon me, the father, Yahuwah, sends a strong delusion into the world that they should believe a lie and be damned and not believe the truth. So what am I saying to you? It's a stern warning for not acknowledging who the real people are and, being, and, and acknowledge that the only way you're grafted in is through their Messiah, the true Messiah, the black one, not the white blonde hair, blue eye that we've been lied to about. Because there's a false Christ coming and he's gonna look like that false Yahushua Hamashiach, that false Jesus, that's not our God. That's not Yahuwah, that's not his son. His son, you know, has, has eyes like a furnace and feet as if they were burned in the, his feet are uh, were black or dark as if they were burned into a furnace. That's what the Bible says about his feet. His feet look like they were burned into a furnace. Daniel says his, his arms are bronze. Okay, as if they were burnt like bronze or, or burnt brass. He was a melanated man. And so it's important to know who the chosen people are because they're brown skin or dark skin people and the Messiah is brown skin. The big lie is the white Jesus and the white Jews. So the stern warning comes, if you continue to believe that lie, then there's going to come, a, there's, it's even in the world today, you see it, it's a strong delusion of pastor and, and ministers about who the chosen people are. So a lot of Christian people are believing in that false state of Israel, that false star of David. That's not a real star of David, by the way. That's an Illuminati star. And so I'm, I'm giving you a stern warning to wake up and acknowledge who the chosen people are and their Christ or their Yahushua Mashiach, the real one. Because there's a lie going on right now. Now that we're in the last days, all the curses, because our 400 year prophecy of, of you know, us being sold into slavery is up. It was up last year in 2019. Now you're seeing all the curses that they put on the Hebrews, the 12 tribes. It started to be in reverse now, and you start to see everyone else, you know, all these curses are being dispersed all over the world. So this coronavirus, some say it's a, a man-made pestilence. Some believe it's Yahuwah made the pestilence. Doesn't matter. The pestilence came, and it's destroying people. And this is, like, this is almost like they're, they're, this is Revelation being unraveled, the book of Revelation, where all the curses are being unleashed. So you want to make sure you're on the right side of history. That's why it's so important not to believe the lie, because that, that death angel is going around the whole world now, and the numbers are escalating every day. So stay awoke. There's more evil and crazy things to come. Why? Because we're in the last days, okay? And the quicker you acknowledge that and stay on the right side of history, you'll be okay. You'll be protected, all right? There's, more, there's probably more black people to see with Christianity, the, the religion of it, than there are white people, believe it or not, because they stole our history and took the real people who, who that's people that look like me and you, they took our history, okay? Especially the African-Americans and all of, all of us who were sold in the, the transatlantic slave trade and the, uh, the Muslim slave trade, they stole our history and deleted our history so we wouldn't know who we were. And those are the people that are being deceived the most. So you have more black American Christians here that are deceived and believing in the false state of Israel. They believe in the white Jesus. And they don't know that's a strong delusion sent by Satan. Hear me out, prophets, apostles, ministers. 
That white lie of what he looks like is a false messiah. It's a lie. False Israel is a lie. False Jews lie. And they teach bad things. And they believe that, you know, they don't have to be born again in Yahushua Mashiach to be saved. Some of the Jews, the false Jews actually believe this stuff. And if you look at Rome, it's being decimated right now because those Romans took the history. They're the ones that came out with slavery and made Jesus white, made the apostles white, and brought and put us in chains, allowed slavery. You know, they made slavery an, an actual law where we, they could actually take us into slavery. Rome did that. So guess who's hitting, is getting hit the hardest? It's, it's Rome. It's Italy. So again, wake up to this truth, okay? And if you don't wake up to it, you can stand in judgment by believing the lie. Because again, there's more things coming. And if you're following the false Israel, you're not going to know true Bible prophecy. You're going to be following a lie. That's happening a lot in this country right now. I'm giving you a stern warning. I haven't always been awake. I was in five denominations. I was a Christian for a long, long time. And the Most High woke me and my wife up a few years ago. We woke up to this truth that I'm telling you right now. And we have not looked back since. So be aware, be awake, stay alert, please. Lastly, I'm going to tell you something. We were supposed to come to Africa last year, and the Most High did not permit it. The year before that, he did not permit it. But I'm telling you, we are coming back soon because there's going to be a, a great migration back to Africa. All of us in the diaspora who was in those two slave trades, Muslim slave trade, transatlantic slave trade, you're talking maybe a half a billion people around the world coming back to Africa, you know, because we're going to go back to where they sold us at. And in those areas, there's a lot of Hebrews there. So with that being said, I want to tell you about what the Most High opened up. He opened up a big door for me as a real estate investor. He opened up a door for me to meet another realtor who, had, who does business in Africa, you know, and knows how to buy property. So I'm going to joint venture my company and his company are joining, joint venturing together. And we're going to be able to offer properties to anyone else around the world. We're going to be able to sell properties in Africa, pre-construction buildings, houses, where people can purchase them. My wife and I are going to purchase our own homes too. We can purchase property anywhere in Africa starting at $50,000, you know, $50,000, U.S. dollars, that is. And we can pay cash for the property. And it's going to come with, you know, three bedrooms, two baths with property, no property taxes. And it comes with running water. They're going to dig the well and the, and the water is free. All we pay for is the, um, you know, for the, for the electric and the food. So, I'm going to be able to offer those to, to our, our members here, all, the, all of our Hebrews here in the U.S., and anyone else who wants to come. You don't have to be a Hebrew. You have to be grafted in through Yahushua Mashiach. That's the Hebrews first and everyone else. Okay? So I have white brothers and sisters. I have Asian brothers and sisters. Any of them who want to come back to the land and want to purchase property, we're going to be able to let them buy property through our business, you know, properties that, are, that have not even been built yet, pre-construction properties for 50 grand. I'm going to be able to offer... Uh, property on the beach as well. Beachfront property for like $15,000. They can buy a lot on the beach. And there's many other things th that we're going to be doing. But those are the two main things because it's almost time for us to go home. When I say go home, go back to where we were captive, where, where we were taken captive. And then eventually go back to the land of Israel, the true Israel. Not that one that we see on television. There's another Israel. There's more than what they're showing us about Africa. There's more lands to, to Israel. It's not that small little spot that the white supremacists put in place for to deceive us and trick us and move all, you know, the fake Jews up there that don't look like us. But my job is to make sure that I'm able to offer that to our people in America as an apostle and make sure I can get as many people back home as possible. But we are coming. We're trying to even, try, we actually have property where we're going to try to buy properties even in Kenya, East Africa. But we want to make sure that when, our time to leave and exit, we're going to have to go into a place called the wilderness. And we don't know where that is in Africa, but we need to get to Africa first. And then he'll guide, most high will guide us while we're there into the wilderness for three and a half years while this great tribulation hits the earth because it's coming. I salute all of you who have faith in the one true Yahushua Mashiach, the true one, not the fake one. And in Yah Yahuwah, yeah, some, some, of you, some of you call him God. His real name is Yahuwah. And I love you, I salute you for being our friend in the faith, for loving Yahuwah's chosen people. And if you don't have that belief, you know, it's very hard for me and, my, and everyone who I work with 
I cannot work with you in joint venture and be your, your brother and partner with you if you don't believe who the chosen people are. That's very important that I put that out there. Because a lot of Christians don't want to accept the fact of who the, the fact of who the people are and what Yahusha really looks like. When he comes back, you know, because they're deeply rooted in racism in their heart, they're not going to be able to accept him. And that's one of the first things I clarify if with any Christians that are out there. If they come to me with the garbage and saying, no, it doesn't matter what they look like, you know, they can't accept who the real people are. They can't accept Yahushua being a black man. I don't work with them because they're not going to be, they're not going to be able to, to, to hang out in heaven with racism. And I'm saying that to you, my brother, and make sure that your heart's right and you can receive what I'm saying to you because that's the only way I can be a part of what you're doing if you accept who the true chosen people are and accept their Messiah, which we all come in by grace through faith, through him, but we have to believe in the, the true and not the false one. And I want to make sure that we're on the same page there because as much as I love you, I cannot be a part of what you're doing if you don't believe who the chosen people are. You have to believe that because I, I had to wake up to this truth myself. And I, I, said to, I said to the Most High, I will not believe that lie anymore, that false Israel and their people and that false Christ, which is an image, a false image of him. So I want to make sure we're clear on that. And I love you all. Pastor, you and I have had this discussion already, and I'm sure you know where, where I'm going with this, but please, please, please take the time and explain to this to your congregation so they know exactly where we're coming from. This is not about race or black and white. It's about nationality. The true Hebrews, the nation of Israel, is a black, is a dark skin, black and brown skinned people. They're not white people. E the whiter nations are Edom, the Edomite nations. That's who they are, infiltrating the chosen people infiltrating the true Messiah. Why is it so important to know this? Not because of the race, but because when the false Christ does show up, Antichrist, and if you don't know who the real one, what he looks like, you will accept the false Christ and your soul will be doomed. This is why I'm telling you this, and, and this is a divine revelation to share with you. In closing, I want you to know that if there's anything my wife and I can do for you, we got your back. I'm asking you to keep us in your prayers. Meditate in the word day and night, according to the book of Psalm, chapter one. A righteous man meditate in the, in, in, in the most high's law day and night. And whatsoever he does prospers. I pray you have divine prosperity over you. If there be any sin in your heart, pray as I pray often. Psalm chapter 51. Father, create me a clean heart, renew a right spirit within me. Abba, Father loves you and I love you. He loves you more than me because... His ability to love is unlimited, but you have to obey him. The time is getting short. People are dying every day. Coronavirus is just the beginning. It's the economic system is going to fall. Babylon, which is Babylon the Great, which is the, the, the system of Edom, Rome, and all, of, and the Americas. That's all the Babylonian system falling. So if you read Revelation, it talks about the, the prophets and apostles. We look afar off when she falls. And then and the, and the Most High says, rejoice. She has fallen. That's why America hasn't been destroyed yet because the Hebrews are here. But when we leave, it's going to be a great destruction on her. But it's starting to fall right before our very eyes. Stay in faith. Keep your spirit right. Keep your mind holy. Meditate in the word. Don't believe in your own mentality, your own way of doing things. Don't lean on your own understanding. Trust the most high. He will deliver you. He will deliver you. He will protect you. Africa, I love you. My prayers are with you. My wife and I both pray for you. Stay in Yahushua HaMashiach. Stay in Yah the Father. And believe in the Ruach HaKadosh, which is the Holy Ghost. Trust the Holy Ghost. Trust the Ruach to, to protect you and, and get, guide you and lead you into all truth. And you cannot go wrong. Amen. Father, I pray that this word, this prophetic word, and what I just uttered fell on good ground. I pray they receive it with faith. In Yahushua's name. Shalom, 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 family. Bye-bye.